What's up, IGN? Brian here. We're playing more Earth Defense Force 2025. This time I'm going to check out a ranged character, and we're also on a different level. It's outdoors, more mountainous uh -huh. rather than like a city streets. Right. Um, so what's going on right here? What is that? So right now you're looking at what's called the Shield Bearer. Now the Shield Bearer, you can't attack from the outside. Anything that's, you know, missiles or uh, fast-moving bullets, nothing can penetrate the shield. The only thing that you can do is go through it. So only your human walking powers can get through walking the shield. Powers. Walking, the powers. walking powers. The secret walking powers. Yes. Yes. So even if you call it air raid, like using the air raider, it cannot penetrate that um, shield, and that's new to this game. Okay, so with this melee class that I'm playing with here mm -hmm. on the left screen, be maybe a better choice for this since we're going to be running up there. Um, actually, yeah, your 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 class is perfect because then you can go straight in. You're faster, um, so it's a better choice. Okay. Um, so help me fo focus on what I should be doing here. Should I stay out here and help shoot, or do I want to get in there as fast as possible? Um, I would say he's already inside, so he can probably get, you know, he's, he has the well, strongest he's an character, so <laughs> he's fine. You don't have to worry about him. What I would do for you is stay far away and shoot what you can with your long-range sniper Yeah, I, I like this. Yeah. You this can kind of camp out, you know, relax. So is that a... A bug type, or was it a robot? I didn't really have a chance to look uh, at it. I was a, shooting things. It's a robot. It's called Shield Bearer, so it's not a bug. So, fill me in on the EDF lore here. Okay. Are the the bugs and the robots, they have an alliance going on? Yeah, so it's kind of like, think of it as like uh, the, the machines are like the parent, the mothership, and all of that alien technology, and they drop in their loads of enemies. To do which their dirty are work. Exactly. Okay. That's how I would look at it. Kind of like storm ship troopers esque. So we uh, took starship out troopers. <laughs> storm <laughs> ship troopers. They're called it's fine. Troopers. I wasn't going to call you out. Yeah. Uh, so that <laughs> bug just went flying. That was great. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing this again. We want to. Oh, it's moving. It's growing yeah. bigger. Let's see what it's doing. Is it coming towards you? They can walk too. Oh, the shield bearers can walk. Usually they move their feet and they. Yeah, there it goes. There's a little cottage. You see that? So try can I reading shoot it? the level without. Killing the people Without, inside. Oh, I'm there are people kidding. in there. No, I'm just kidding. You can blow everything up. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. If, like, wait, really? There are people? <laughs> You're trying to save the earth. Property damage is whatever. Yeah. You'll do whatever it takes, right? You'll blow the world up by saving it. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now Joe's close up. He can pretty much break it from within. Who is this person? This person is Wing Diver. They're helping you. Oh, so there's a lot of AI in the game where, you know... Um, Different missions will call in different character classes to come help okay, you. Okay, and it's the and it's ADO. the classes we can mm -hmm. choose from as well. Uh -huh. Okay, exactly. So would it be possible? So last video I was playing that support based character. Right. Would I have one of those with me calling down airstrikes at times? Uh, I haven't seen that just yet. Okay. Uh, most of the levels that I know of are wing diver supports, mm. um, because the wing diver it's an all female unit and they play a pretty big role in the game. So there's a lot of missions that you know use their help and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so but I haven't seen any air raider. Um, there are a couple, but they mm -hmm. they generally are there for kind of scripted sequences. Okay. And if you didn't hear Joe, they're there for scripted sequences, the air raider missions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool class. Yeah. Although I am liking this, yeah. the sort of stay back and blast things yeah. from afar. You're faster than me. It's not fair. Right. Do you have the jump, Joe? The really, really high jump? So the fencer, he has the dash, and he can also jump super duper high, so he can jump around. <laughs> All right, I'm almost here. I can start helping. Okay. Oh. I say you get on the ground now and just use your super soaker acid gun and just kill the ants from within. Oh, that's more dangerous. That's a good but idea. I, uh, yeah, I should do that. So the nice thing about the acid gun is if there's tons of enemies around you, you can just like spray in the air and it kind of falls on them. Spray and pray. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> is this going to hurt? Bug spray. Uh, no, I'm fine. Yeah. What we uh, try to do is implement um, a large fly swatter in the game, but it didn't work. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking because I could actually see that in here. Yeah, I wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this thing also hates acid. <laughs> yes. So is there like a, a story that 
I'll be following. Like, is this a character? Is this a named character? Or is it sort of like an overall it's story? An overall and then you're just story. like the characters you pick mm-hmm, at the time. But the story does progress um, as you play through the missions. Um, you know, they'll be like, okay, the ranger, this happened today. You need to go here. Or uh, wing divers need your help. So mm-hmm. it progresses, but it's not directly. You don't need to play, you know, the first one before you play the last one. But it's nice if you do. Yeah. Okay. Like there's a story in each mission, basically. Um, and, and also, oh. if you're moving at an angle... Oh, if you're moving you at jump, an angle, and if you press jump... You can do a roll. You can do a roll. roll. Move a little bit faster. So. I, don't, I don't think my character has the jump. So oh, there it is. Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, you can't... So Joe That's next to me is talking faster. about the roll, how to do the nice tuck and roll. <laughs> Uh, quick question for you yes. then, because we're just too good. We haven't died. What uh-huh. happens when you die? Is there like a certain number of lives, or do you just keep respawning until uh, you, you finish can, the level? You can keep playing. Okay. Right. But um, so if one person does die, you can revive them. But if you both die, then you have to restart the mission. There's no save point within the mission. No checkpoint or yeah. anything. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I think that's about all the yeah. time we have. But thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, when thanks for having us. I had a good time. When can we expect to play this game? Uh, this game is going to be out on February 18th, so in a month. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. For more on Earth Defense Force 2025, keep it locked to IGN.